Hello and welcome to our MaxQDA video tutorial. This time we'll take a closer look at one of our visual tools called CodeLine, which enables you to look at the distribution of codes within single documents. I begin by right-clicking on a document and selecting CodeLine. The option window lets me decide whether I want to visualize all of my codes or just the ones I've previously activated. Checking the second option would aggregate the subcodes to their parent codes and only visualize the latter ones. And should you have assigned weight to your coded segments, you could limit the visualization to only show segments with a specified weight. I however want to visualize all coded segments, so I just click on OK. In the upper part of the window, we see each paragraph of the document as a column, while the codes are displayed as rows. The colored bars in the middle show us where in the document this code appears. The colors are of course the ones we have assigned in the code system. Since the code line is directly linked to the data in the background, a double click on one of the colored bars brings us directly to the respective passage in our document. The code line offers two ways of visualizing the appearance of a code. The currently selected mode checks whether a code was used anywhere in a paragraph, and if it was, it displays a colored bar for the whole paragraph. In this mode, it doesn't matter whether just a single word or the whole paragraph is coded. With the second mode, the length of a bar will be calculated in regard to the exact number of characters included in the code. So the more characters a coded segment covers, the longer the respective bar will be. In this mode, we still see the paragraphs as columns, but now they are summarized according to the number of characters they are comprised of. The scroll bar adjusts the size of the columns and with this button over here you can fit the whole code line to your window size. That way you see the coded segments of the entire document, which is useful if you want to use it in a publication. If you want to use the code line outside of MaxQDA, you can export it with this button over here as an Excel table or image file. 